da 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 things happen. But I thought for sure I'd be dead by now. Yeah. Well... (laughs) I, mean, I really did. I mean, if you like in the nineties, we should start taping more of these quicker. I know, yeah. But I mean, if you think about the eighties, I thought the eighties were fuck, man. Nineteen eighty, yeah. man. Yeah, because I'm fucking old as shit. But then <laughs> now it's 2016. I'm like, hey, whoa, I'm, I'm still, still alive. Here. Yeah. No, but that's true. Though it is. Jetson How am I yeah. still alive? I'm in the Jetson era. Yeah, I don't know. It's when so would, weird. What year that was? The Jetsons. <laughs> what was the, the Jetsons? I don't know. I don't know. It's probably, <laughs> I don't yeah. think they say a year. I'll look it up. I nice. don't know, but it's definitely around 2016 it's definitely, or something. It's, yeah. it's today. There was also a song that goes, in the year 2525. Mm-hmm. You remember that yeah, song? Yeah, that's, uh, that's way. Now those are all like, you know, our years now. It's yeah. It's weird. It's, like I we're think living it. People in the 60s would never think of this 2016. They'd be like, oh, God. Jetsons was yeah. 2062. Oh, okay, so we got some oh, time. Oh, wow. They put a year on the Jetsons. I didn't they know did. They did. It was 100 a years. Was Hanna-Barbera was 1962. Uh, what was the maid's name? Oh. Rosie. 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 Yeah. yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, Mr. Jetson. Me, hey. George Jetson. Uh, I love Judy. the Jetsons. That His was one of my Elroy. favorites. Jane. Definitely one of my His favorites, wife. right? Sure, yeah. yeah Jetsons, I Jetsons. Uh, Jetsons, I like <laughs> Flintstones. Space Lee Sprockets. Yeah, and when Flintstones. I came home from school, it was Flintstones were on, and then the Jetsons were on. Yeah. And uh Forget oh Gilligan's Island. Gilligan's Island was first on. one. Welcome first back, one. Cotter was a good one. Remember that, that was one? on after school down there in yeah. Chicago. Yeah. Welcome back, Cotter was a big. When was and Bozo on down, out down there? <laughs> that was kind of everybody. Old. No, it was usually don't out. yourself. They no, all it, watched Bozo it was. in Chicago. So I really? won. Yeah. yeah, they did. That's so fucking I, weird. I, I oh, it was a staple down. He was a oh, huge star. He was enormous. So I won in a yeah. raffle. The grand prize of the school raffle, St. Joe's Grammar School, was two tickets to the Bozo Show. Holy shit. So my mom. Where did they shoot that? They shot right behind um, uh, Gordon Tech, right there, kind of Gordon Lane Tech. Tech. Yeah, it's, Lane Tech. Yeah, Gordon at the Tech, WGN yeah. Studios. Okay, right, right. It's actually it's actually a quick sidebar. Uh, <laughs> Father Wayne called uh, my wife Donna and I in. And he goes, "Hey, can you guys uh, do me a favor and pet? You're kind of an actor." I'm like, "Thanks for the." Solid. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Thanks for the Throwing sale. The word kinda in there. <laughs> Always a smooth thing. Occupation, kinda actor. Kinda. Your Honor, I'm kinda actor. I put that down on my tax return. Yeah, I had to write the word kinda, kinda in there. <laughs> but I did. Um, I did on your IMDb. I did, <laughs> <laughs> but I did. Um, I came in and did um, Mass for Shut-ins. What? Which was a TV oh, show, yeah. oh. and it was ten o'clock on Sundays on WGN, yeah. and they did a mass in twenty-two minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I had to do. They call it mass for yes, shut-ins. Mass they don't really shut-ins. call it that. Do they? Yeah, that's what it was called. For <laughs> Is that shut-ins it's, word still around? I don't know if it's DC anymore. <laughs> hey, you know my grandma's a shut-in. <laughs> What if your grandma and were always weird no, ones. I'm a, a weird word. Remember, yeah, somebody's a like, latchkey shut kid. Like, what? Like, shut, shut in? in? Yes, that mass. was a word. That was, but that was the name of the show, Mass oh for Shut Ins. And so, how bad would you that? feel if you were a shut in? Right. I'm a shut in. But I kid you, I remember like sitting there doing a reading, and I so much wanted to go off book, which would have been the Bible, yeah. off book, and literally be like, really? You couldn't get to Mass? You couldn't get out? You couldn't walk three blocks to St. Teresa's? You couldn't? You had, you're a shut in? You're, you're, you're officially. But if you're a real you really shut-in, just you can't shut get yourself. The door. No, there could be a lot. There's people in hospitals. I know, but you want to like go. That. Did you really just shut yourself <laughs> in? <laughs> Come on. Come on. You know, Bill, he's a shut in. Well, <laughs> former. You could have called the fire department to lift you out. Yes. <laughs> Last Taking out week, window. I was pretty much of a shut in. Well, yeah, week, that's yeah. different. I really was. Yeah. I just thought I was depressed and I shut you myself were. in. Not really, but Aww. I just wanted to say that for a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but it's but so we did three masses in one wow. fell swoop. So I remember going so home. So twenty and minutes, little post. things. Yeah, and did they it? would air them different times. Yeah, and then we didn't have to go for, for not that I was going every Sunday, but we didn't have to go the next like, two oh, in smart. theory because I'd already been to them. Sometimes I see people in church; they take a communion in a little. Thing, oh yeah, and they bring it to the shut-in. Yeah, they do that. Whatever they're. Yeah. Well, I was wondering how communion would work for well, them. Do uh, they get a mail? My mom goes to uh, hospitals. Oh, she gives it to them, and she gives it to them yeah. in hospitals. Yeah. yeah, that a lot of times people can do that. They it's like she charges it a like a three bucks, I think. <laughs> 
Plus, if they validate, it's no, she doesn't. That's all. Are they organic? How funny would it be to do that? Like, you give a guy community and be like, three um, bucks. Yeah, doesn't grow on trees. I don't know. Um, I don't know uh, this is Jesus' blood? Is, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I guess it's three bucks. Wine's That's kind of like my buddy that charged. Uh, this was the most ingenious thing ever. He charged. He just went to a f- high school football game and started charging five bucks for parking. And, oh sure, and he got like he got like uh, I think we got like a thousand, oh, close to it, like uh, yeah. no, nah, I'd say about five hundred bucks, oh, and we got man. a half barrel and got t- totally trashed. It's a great, but idea. he's like he goes, he go, I go, what do you guys want to do? And I goes, ah, I think I'm gonna just start charging people b- money to park here, and he just sat in the in the driveway. And he goes five bucks, and people yeah. go five bucks, Jesus. Right. And hand it to him. Yeah. And he, he, we got a half barrel that night. Well, we you were can high do school. That, and we you got do that in Madison. Yeah. I mean, like, if sure. you live near Camp Randall, you would, you know. You could do you that. You could sell your, but, par- your apartment. Yeah, you parking. could charge parking anywhere. I did it at uh, for Northwestern Games. Oh, sure. I remember I changed my piano lessons as an eighth grader. <laughs> Um, to Saturdays <laughs> to, to, in the fall because Mrs. Wagner lived like a block and a half from the stadium. Oh my so God. her son Don was like kind of a, a, a friend that, of a friend. And so I'd go and, like, and I'd have my piano lesson and then she would go get her hair done and go shopping. So she'd be gone for like five hours. So we would charge no. people to park on the lawn. Oh, sure. It'd be like 10 bucks. But it was her lawn. It was yeah, her lawn, so right, we were, yeah. were trying to angle park these people all on her. So there was like 20 cars on her lawn. And then it was kind of like, um, you know, oh cat in the hat. All of a sudden, like, you know, the last car would be leaving and right. she'd be pulling in like, hello, uh, boys. You never got busted. Really? No. Well, it wasn't a bad thing. It was just, no. you know. Well, you I rip mean, up her lawn. Did you give her any of the no, money? No, they weren't doing like, you know, donuts or anything. It was right. just people. Did you give her any of the cash? <laughs> <laughs> Northwestern game. It's not like, we're hooligans. <laughs> With yeah. a four zero, yeah. I'm a badger. I hate those wildcats. I know well, <laughs> they were good this year. They were pretty good. They, came down. they were pretty good. Smash, 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 smash. Not bad. We used to go to the Northwestern. We t- the t- Northwestern games tailgated really good at Madison or at, yeah, at down at Dyke Stadium. Dyke Stadium. Yeah, they do. They did <laughs> tailgate well. <laughs> no, they did. They did. Uh, they, they really know how to do that. They did it's a, that. It's yeah. a good parking lot for. It's they, a great we, one. we wouldn't. There were times you wouldn't go in until halftime. You're just, you're just like, ah, no. Yeah, because yeah. you're like, what am I going to go in there for? And it's they're going to lose. And yeah, they're, they're awful. They can't. <laughs> they, yeah. they had a – we went to the game when I was a kid. They lost to Michigan State, uh, and it was to set the record of losses in a row. And it yeah. was 38 in a row. Yeah. Oof. So it was lose to state in 38. Everyone had buttons. It was packed. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um, I remember Michigan State lose was like number two state, in the country. 38. And Northwestern at halftime is up like – Ten nothing, and you're like, like, wait a second. If we actually beat them, then we beat Purdue and somebody else. We have a shot at being five (laughs) hundred. You know, whatever. Like visions of, and then they beat us like sixty eight to. Oh wow! And Uh. my favorite was because it's a very intelligent school. They had all the student body. (laughs) Was they sent some of the kids by the goalpost, like you know, hey, go go mill around the goalpost, like kind of size it up, like you're going to tear it down. Yeah. And so gradually, all the cops started to go over there as well. And there's about ten seconds left, and the clock's ticking down. And as soon as the clock, the game's over, a couple more kids ran. So, like, 20 kids are at this thing, and they start to climb the pole. And all the cops are like, ah, gotcha. Meanwhile, like, 700 of the other student body go to the other pole. Much like mm. the, um, shoot, you know how they send the little cows to, when they cross a river with piranha? <laughs> Oh, you know, they, they send a few. They send the, they send the skinniest cow and all the prana eat it. Yeah. And they, sacrifice then they, those yeah, then they sacrifice. It was like that. And then they tore it down. All the cops were like, hey, Bill, they're over there. What's going on? And they tore it down, dismantled it, and then nice. carried it up the top wow. and then dropped it. Whoa. And they took it and brought it all the way oh down Central. I know. It was so orchestrated. Wow. What? They brought it all the way down um, Central Street. And the cars are like, what do I do here, Helen? There's, there's a big <laughs> <a laughs> coming out at me. Yeah. Yeah. Watch out for my Corolla. <laughs> God, and they got to crazy. the end of the lake and threw it in. Wow! I'm like, that's insane. Wow! Yeah, that's, that's really going that's crazy, really great. North, isn't it? Northwestern yeah. kids, yeah, did that? yeah, no, those idiots, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, look at the nerds go. Yeah, I, I mean, so. I've always wondered why Northwestern stays in the in the Big Ten when when they when they literally for years just lost yeah. every single game. And and I think they must be like, why are we even spending money on this? Yeah. But I guess they just. Stayed in there. I'm glad they did. Yeah. Because they won a few. I think they won a Rose Bowl a few years ago or whatever. They did. In mm-hmm. 90, they yeah. went to it in 95. Yeah. I think. But they clearly don't spend a lot of time on their football. No, and program. I think they really, academics are extremely important. Like, there's not a lot of. Yeah. They just don't stuff. care about their football no. team at all. I had know? a friend who played basketball and he got called and he was a freshman. There was two other freshmen. And he got called into the coach's office. He's like, shut the door. And he's like, oh, is everything okay? And he goes, yeah, we just got your, uh, your progress report for your grades. 
Oh. And he's like, oh, yeah, I think I'm doing pretty good. And he goes, you got a 3.8. And he goes, yeah, I've never had, that's the best I've ever had. <laughs> and he goes, the two other freshmen have four O's. Okay, so you're bringing us down to a 3.9. Let's figure this out. Oh, Bring wow. Whoa. Like he was like mad that his grade was like. Wow. I'm like, that's, he goes, Whoa. I had a 3.8 at Northwestern while playing basketball. So, wow. Isn't that crazy? They're pretty Whoa. strict about that. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's like probably why they just, their athletics just, but they're, probably. what I don't understand is why be in the Big Ten? That's like. Right. You know, yeah. you could be Just in another. Money. You could be in another league you somewhere. You're right. Well, you know. University of Chicago used to be. Right. I mean, that's yeah. like Come a on. good school they don't too. Have a team, do they? No, no. They were the first Heisman Trophy winner, John J. Burley. Oh, right, right, were they right. really? Was from they were University in the Big Ten. The Maroons. Yeah, I were. didn't know that. Well, then they made a smart move by just saying, if yeah. you're not going to emphasize on athletics, just go. You know, yeah, be a. You don't. know, don't do right. it. Yeah. My I don't understand. High school boyfriend went to University of Chicago. I've never been more depressed than when I went to visit Whoa. him in those dorms. Oh, no doubt. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Well, there's some. That's one of the best schools. Whoa. In, it, that's one of the best schools in the oh, world. Smart. Oh God, yeah. yeah. Everyone's in their room by themselves. This was like a Saturday night. No way. By themselves, drinking and reading or writing poetry or like doing some yeah. major, major fucking major deal. academic yeah. shit. And not yeah. like keg beer. It's yeah. like scotch that's no, imported. Sc- from, yes. You know, yeah, Lithuania. Yeah. And just Fuck. straight. And I mean, that school was fucking intense. Yeah, there, I mean, in his yeah. dorm alone, there were a couple suicides that freshman year. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> hey, um, hey. It's they invented the atom bomb. Take yeah. it easy. And yeah, they did. Also, uh, Leopold and Loeb were from there. Also, Second City. Second City's from there. <laughs> and a happier City. note. And a happier note. <laughs> no, all those Second guys City, were from Second City. Yeah, uh, I forget the guy's name. Uh, Bernie Solins. Bernie Solins, but oh, also right? David yeah. something. Sills was he? Yeah, in well, there? circa, Sills was. circa Sills was. late nineties. It was depressing. Yeah. Visit. Oh, I bet. No, we I did bet. a show there. It's a pretty ominous place. It is. It I think is. once you get off, you know, because there was some, there was some cool. Like we went to some jazz club. You know, there was oh, some yeah. cool stuff around there. Hyde Park? But like, yeah. Wow. But man, that dorm scene was. Well, I could never do it. No way. I'm yeah, glad I'm dumb. Yeah. <laughs> I would really be bummed if I was smart. Like some of those kids are so smart, they're just like, you know, what'd you get in that test? No, I got an A. Did you study? No. Right. right. I mean, there's kids like that, and then they're. They're supposed to go to Chicago or Harvard. Yeah. Yeah. And you feel, because they want a party. Like Hermo. We had a guy, Hermo. Oh, yeah, Hermo. He was a partier, you know, and he liked to hang out and he liked to have a good time, but he'd get straight A's and he didn't even try. Right. But he was just that much more smart than everybody yeah. else. Right. And I kind of feel sorry for those guys because they're, <laughs> they're bound to like boring. I just want to fuck up. Yeah. 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 Like, I got to go to Harvard and I got to study. Right. I'm supposed to be a doctor. <laughs> right. He did. He became a doctor. And he became Herbal. a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, he's got that evil side to him. He's like, I want to go party with you guys. Have fun <laughs> I with you. Well, so remember like Don, Donna one time was like, would you go to her mom? I'm like, I guess. <laughs> would you go to her mom? <laughs> I guess I would. Okay, You're right. Because, he? like, he was at every single party they were ever yeah. at, you know? And it's like when you're partying with a doctor, it's kind of weird. You're yeah. like, no, two hey, of my doc? roommates, two what of my hell? roommates are doctors. Yeah. One, the one of the hardest partiers is a radiologist, and I would send any films to her. She's amazing. Really, oh, you would? she oh, was good. too high function. She just was too high functioning. So like, she's a radiologist, she, but she's she's, a, she's an amazing radiologist. And what did she drink? She party hard. Oh yeah, like blackout, yeah. like really? she, yeah. That's my roommate, of course. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like she black out and she yes. And you I get would up trust and get her. A straight a. Yeah, yeah. I get, she That's just would take tests. I don't get that. She was in like OCam and she was like huge thing. You know, I think maybe she has a photographic memory too. Oh, that she helps. She was that like annoying that helps, yeah. woman who just like she would always blow off like how good she was doing. She just was so That's cool about shit. Too. She's like, ah, I don't fuck it, I don't care. And he's like, she's constantly getting like constant perfect, straight like, A's. Wow. Constant. Yeah. And yeah. now she's it's like so the head crazy. of a whole radiology. She's like training all the old guys on like how she's like the head of wow. like this whole Milwaukee radiology department. Why wasn't I born with It'd that be so cool to brain. like get a test and just be like, yep. Got the, oh, of course. It's C. What else would it be? I was just like, oh, I should have read that this. Be like, like, oh, God. I forgot this chapter. I didn't. I meant to read this one. <laughs> I did not hang out with any guys like that. <laughs> I didn't hang out with, That's I odd. None of my friends are ever like that. Because yeah. you know? if they were trying to get into the group, we'd all look at them like they were aliens and go, <laughs> like, what? You're deal. weird. Right. You're Why weird. Why do you hang out here? <laughs> get out of here. I remember there were like, times I remember like sitting down like in a class or something like this and just going, Oh, I forgot something to write with. <laughs> like, like, it shouldn't be something like, oh, I always uh, forget a pen. Oh, you tell me. Like, oh, do you have man. a pen? And it's always like, what? Oh, my God. I'll give oh, it back. Fuck. Oh, my God. Just need to use it yeah. I, for the test. I feel sorry for kids going to school. You got a kid in college. Is a two in college. Yeah. Where are they? Yeah, they're hard? Colorado Boulder. Ooh. It's a great yeah. school. It is a great That's school. A it's very town. much like Madison. Same design. Yeah. Yeah, and they got skiing cool. and everything, but they I do. would love it if I was there because I went there and visited a couple. 